What's going on YouTube? Legion's Gaming here with another Punishing Grey Raven video. Today we're going to be going over what mistakes you should be avoiding. So a beginner's guide for you guys on what you should be spending your stamina on, what you should be focusing on early on, what is mistakes to avoid, what not to do in the game. And we're going to talk about probably what are the better things to waste stamina on we got like cog missions we got overclock missions etc all that we're gonna go over all that and we're also gonna explain how to raise your battle power very quickly on your characters in case you're getting stuck on somebody's stages. so without further ado let's get right on with this video okay as you can see i'm level 31 the first thing i want to talk about here the main thing you should be avoiding like the number one mistake to do is only focus on three units at a time as you can see i got my three s ranks here level 30 they're all level 30 right now i'm only focusing on them i'm only focusing on their skills on their promotions on evolving them i'm only focusing on well evolving you just get dupes with that that's fine but upgrading skill enhance especially skill enhance because this you know you waste these very quickly and it does cost cogs so you're going to be wasting a lot of material very fast i recommend just focusing on three units upgrading the weapons for these three units and the memory for these three units and just focus on them and that's it don't don't focus on any other characters until you hit like end of story and you're like okay i can do end game content now raids co-op and i want to build some other units then you can start focusing on other units early on just focus on three don't waste your materials on other characters because you are going to need three for the story it's if you don't have three built i'm telling you the story gets pretty difficult so and now number two thing i think you guys should be doing right away we're on day two of this okay so these are the novice missions you get them right from the main screen here it says novice missions click on this you're gonna be getting a lot of black cards from doing this so day one only gives you 50 uh, day one day two gives you like 50 each once you get to day three day four you start getting more each and you're gonna be getting five star cards and voltier is actually a very 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 good card and you're also going to be getting for nanami one of her weapons if you complete all of these tasks and you're also going to be getting a costume now cosmetics don't increase stats or anything but it just looks cool come on like we that's what we're all going for in this game so you're going to get a bunch of five star cards and you're going to get a free weapon and a costume and you're going to get a bunch of cog material and supplies to enhance your weapons and memory and you're going to get a bunch of black uh black cards to use on other summoning banners so make sure you're doing these every single day make sure you go through and do what it asks overclock two weapons etc overclock three weapons five weapons etc make sure you're doing that and the number one thing everyone keeps saying what should i focus on when i start the game S definitely definitely just focus story okay because a lot of the things in this game will not be unlocked until you get to a certain point in story even like awakening your character to elite or higher you need to progress through a certain part of story even if your character is at a certain level before you can awaken them further so to unlock challenge war like all these good things here like war zone and phantom pain uh cage like these are we're gonna like the end game stuff where you're gonna be needing to do this for weeklies and the weeklies are what gives you good materials i can show you guys the weeklies here so if we took a take a look at the weeklies you got to clear phantom pain uh, and you got to clear war zone so all of these first time clearing phantom pain stages seven times etc so all of these weeklies right you can do these every single week and you're going to be getting all of these black cards every single week so you add this up this is pretty good weekly for the amount of stuff you can get for doing this like war zone phantom cage so you need to make sure that you're doing all of these i don't i can add these up for you real quickly and tell you how many this is okay so i added them all up you're literally going to be getting a thousand black cards a week just from the weeklies and then i think you're also getting like 50 a day from doing your dailies so at the end of the week you're going to get another what 350 that's about uh, half a multi more than half of a multi right there a week from doing your dailies and weekly so number one important thing make sure you get as far as possible in story to unlock these zones which is i believe up to chapter five you need to unlock like chapter four eight yeah four eight and five seven so you got to make sure you unlock these as quick as possible so you can do your weeklies before weekly reset then the next thing i want to talk about is definitely if you're having trouble understanding some of the things in the game uh, go to Celica's class right here it's a tutorial section that literally teaches you everything on the game basic dodge extreme dodge swap dodge which is like dodging in and then swapping in another character uh you got the qte skills it teaches you how to use ping techniques construct types so make sure you're doing all these tutorials pay attention when you're doing them it explains how to do pretty much everything in the game you shouldn't have any problem doing any of them 
And of course, if you want some extra, you know, supplies, some extra black cards, for every character that you have, you can do like a little tutorial battle with them to learn their kit, teaches you how to play them. And every time you do this, you get some black cards for clearing and some cog and also supply materials. Now, everyone keeps asking me, once I get to like a cap on the story, what should I be focusing on my stamina on? Like, what should I be using my stamina on if I can't progress through story anymore and I wanna get my account stronger? So the number one thing that I recommend you guys do, the number one thing that's gonna boost your account, right? So skills are very important. Skills increase the amount of damage you do a lot. Um, so definitely farm the skill point drop. That's number one, like you're gonna be using those a lot. So farm that as much as possible. Honestly, COGS, if you're not summoning a lot and you're not getting a lot of the, if you're free to play and you're not getting a lot of those COG packs from summoning, uh, I have a lot of this, so I'm probably not gonna need to farm this and I summoned a lot on day one. So I don't need to do this, but if you are missing COG, like definitely farm this. There is a shop that literally sells six star and five star cards that you literally just buy with in-game um, gold, like in-game COG, like that's all you have to use. Uh, and then of course, if you need construct XP, I haven't needed it at all, but maybe once you get to a certain point, you don't have any more and you wanna level up your characters, you're probably only gonna need that once you start leveling like your fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh character, etc. cetera. Your, your you know, main team, your three, you're probably not gonna need this that much because you're using them in story and you're also enhancing very, very easily um, with the amount that they give you through story. Then overclock, really important. So this makes your weapons so much stronger. So five star and six star weapons, pretty much like if you're, you know a fan of this guy or something like that it reincarnates the weapon and you have to level it again instead of the level cap being 25 it's 30 and you got to level it from 1 to 30 again and the stats are actually way stronger so it's pretty much like that very very useful it literally doubled my damage the first time that i overclocked it literally went from like 75 to 170 or something like that it was crazy so way way better and then of course the later ones are the like rare memory drops or the equipment XP material. So if you're running low on equipment XP and rare memory, the rare memory is probably more important than equipment XP because equipment XP only focusing on like three characters. So you only need to focus on three weapons. So you'll probably get that max pretty fast until you have to work on your overclocking and then level them up some more. Rare memory, you're literally gonna have six cards on every character. So you're literally gonna need to level up like 18 cards for just your main team. So rare memory drop is one of the most important things on here as well one more thing i want to like reiterate is also some of these like i'm not enhancing these four stars because i just don't think they're worth it some of these four stars are good but most of them are not worth it there's a lot of five stars that are very good that you could be using i'll make a separate video on what five stars are worth keeping and worth like what five stars you should go after what five stars you should enhance etc uh, right now, I just threw a bunch of five stars and six stars on my account until I get to a point where I'm going to be like hard locked and I need to actually level stuff. Uh, and then I'll go through and, you know, actually level these things. But yeah, also wanted to mention, you can also overclock the memory cards as well, which also does the same thing as weapons, makes them stronger the next time you level them. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait until I get a card I want. I just want to show you guys the difference between uh, like what one and level one and level 25 it's not a huge huge difference until you start overclocking so this one's a level one attack 13 defense 22 this other one was the same thing but i enhanced it at 25 and now it's attack 27 and defense 46 so it, it doubled so it does help if you max all of them out like to get them all to 25 but that's something you can do slowly until you hit a point where you're like, wow, I can't progress anymore. I need to go level my stuff up. That's the only time I recommend doing this. I still haven't hit that point yet. Maybe it's because I've spent some money on the game. I have good gear and, you know, good memory stuff. So maybe that's why. But I don't think you should worry about leveling this until you actually get a nice set that you want to work on. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the description box if I missed uh, something and you had a question about that I didn't talk about in this video. But the last thing I wanted to talk about in this video is a lot of people keep asking me, Legions, do I use these black cards and uh, do I use them on the standard banner? No, 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 don't do that. The game gives you them for free just from for completing uh, achievements and challenges. I'll show you guys which ones you need to do. And there's like a, uh, there's a pack that you can buy, like a supply pack. I think it's like nine rainbow cards or something like that. It's very cheap. I think with a dollar you can buy, I already bought it. So I don't remember. It was very cheap. It was like one to $5. Um, 
and it gave me for seven days i think it's gonna or 10 days it's gonna every day i log in it's gonna give me 250 so it's gonna give me 250 these they also do send this to you in your mailbox randomly uh from events from story clear stuff like that challenges so you're gonna be getting these do not waste your black cards on these only waste them on the limited banners okay we, another way you can get them because a lot of people have been asking if you go to missions and you go to event as you see here you get more so you get some when you hit level 10 you get 2500 of them which is a multi and then when you reach level 50 you get another 2500 i don't think you get another like 2500 once you reach 70 or something i don't think so unless i hit 50 and this resets and shows me something else uh but i don't think so so at level 35 you get 2500 limited ba banner tickets that's for the limited banner and then uh, at level 50 you get another 2500 for the standard banner so if you do want to use black cards to get that one more multi to hit pity i mean by all means go ahead if you want to do that but i don't recommend doing that if you if you're impatient and you want to just do that go ahead i spend money on the game and i'm gonna wail on this game so i i ended up doing it because i just wanted to hit pity and go pull on the other banner you know so like i said you will be getting these throughout the game so don't be afraid to just hold out and wait because right now i'm gonna be honest with you this these banners out right now it's not worth pulling uh, until you hit pity on the standard banner that's pretty much all you should be doing work on your b ranks your a ranks they're more than enough to clear the store okay one more thing i wanted to show so like this resets every single day the shop if you go to cogs factory this is what i was talking about you can literally buy five star and six star cards i'm gonna be honest with you this is 100 worth it you're literally only farming quote unquote like a gold like the money in game the in-game currency to get free six star cards and you can literally just keep buying them in the shop and max them out basic attack damage increases by 15 percent. that's amazing condolent i'm about to buy this card right now this card is actually amazing a four piece set has a 25 percent chance to go berserk increasing basic damage by 15 percent and crit rate by five percent you put this a card on a damage dealer like a four piece set of this oh my god like amazing even catherine i believe is a very oh catherine when you use three ping skills very very good oh man if you put her on a tank character uh like um uh, kamui or something like man this card is amazing oh my god so i'm gonna make a separate video on these cards but like i said this shop right here farming that's why when people say what should i waste stamina on dude farm cog if you don't need to any other material just farm cog for stamina it gives you it like the payoff that you can use on so much stuff it's crazy and you need it for everything awakening enhancing gear enhancing memory uh, everything you you need it for everything so make sure that you're farming cog a lot when you have stamina that you want to waste and one last thing i wanted to show you guys i know i keep saying that oh this is the last thing but i keep thinking about stuff that'll probably help you guys out uh these probably not that great like unless you need enhancers this shop's not that good the recycle shop for the four stars but recycle shops for five stars so if you're a whale or even a free to play long you know along the line down the road and you've pulled um so many of these katanas that you have one maxed out already and you don't need another one and you've pulled a dupe or two you can recycle them and use it to buy another car another weapon in the shop that you want for another character so you could use this for five stars or six stars so if you've pulled more than one of the you know of the same type if you pulled this one four times and you've already maxed this one and then you pull it a fifth time you're like okay what do i do with this i don't even have another character that could use this or i do have an a rank version of a character that i'm not really using but do i really need that or do i want to buy a six star weapon for a character that i don't have a six star weapon for in my opinion that's a lot better especially if you're mainly using that other character and not using the a rank so memory shop the the memory shop and weapon shop for the recycles is very good so if you're getting a lot of dupes and you don't need them anymore definitely do this the four star though i don't recommend only reason being is the four star weapon shop um and i believe memory is the same thing you cannot use i don't think you can even do resonance on memory i have to double check that but weapons uh only five stars and six stars get resonance i can show you what resonance is real quick before we end the video um i'll show kamui because i pulled enough of his five star weapon to almost max it out as you can see there's a thing called resonance on five star and six star weapons that every time you put a dupe into it like on his sword right here he gets attack and uh crit plus 30 on every single time so four stars unfortunately don't know why it'd be nice if they did especially for free to play but they do not have resonance as far as i know maybe if i overclock it maybe you unlock it or something but i haven't seen that so far so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that i helped a lot of you guys out like i said if 
I missed something and you have a question that I did not cover. I think I covered just about everything. If I missed something on the video that you guys want to know and I did not answer or did not talk about, please feel free to message me on Discord, join our Discord, ask away in the Discord, or post your comment down below in the description, in the comment section, and I'll be, as soon as I can, I'll answer it. Um, it takes me a while sometimes to answer YouTube, YouTube comments because I'm either streaming um, or I'm at work because I don't do this full time, unfortunately. I wish I could. Um, so yeah, like I said, feel free to leave the comment. I'll be sure to answer as quick as I can and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video if I helped you out in this video subscribe if you haven't already ring that notification bell to be notified for more guides on punishing great raven like this where like I said we're gonna work on more guides like best cards best weapons maybe I'll do a tier list for characters maybe we're gonna do a waifu tier list because there's a lot of good waifus in this game <laughs> uh, and obviously as soon as news comes out for new banners should you pulls we're gonna be doing all that uh new updates new um challenge modes new events etc we're gonna cover all that in this channel so thank you guys so much for all the support you showed on my youtube stream and twitch stream on my first stream for punishing gray raven really appreciate it and uh thank you guys so much for all the support we're just reaching almost 6,500 subs almost towards our uh, three-year anniversary of making content so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one